efforts ongoing from Lagos Aziz to colonize northern Nigeria and impose EMEA on us, says Kwakwaso, the former presidential candidate of NNPP, as he lays allegations claiming that Tinubu and other powerful people from Lagos State are planning to colonize the northern region. And also, there are reports that governors are threatening reps to withdraw support for Tinubu VAT B or they will lose 2027 tickets. Greetings and welcome to another episode of Damole News. Hope you guys are doing fine and thank you so much for stopping by. Alright, I'm going to be giving you guys the full details of this news but please help us by liking and sharing this video so that YouTube and Facebook can recommend it to more people. Thank you. So, Senator Rabiu Musa Kwakwaso, a former presidential candidate of the new Nigeria People's Party has accused powerful people from Lagos states of plotting to colonize the country's northern region. Lagos, also called center of excellence, is generally regarded as the economic hub of West Africa because of its highest revenue and the gross domestic product. Bola Ahmed Tinibu, Nigeria's current president, was the governor of Lagos state from 1999 to 2007. His administration has faced criticism for prioritizing Lagos technocrats and politicians for federal appointments. Recently, former governor and senator Kwakwaso sparked controversy during the convocation ceremony of Skyline University in Kano, alleging that individuals from Lagos are imposing their preferred emirs on northern communities, disregarding local custom and preferences. So, according to Kwakwaso, he said, let me note our situation here in Kano and indeed northern Nigeria. The EMEA is just being a stooge at this very difficult time, especially in this part of the country, northern Nigeria. Today, we can see very clearly that there is a lot of effort from the Lagos Aziz to colonize this part of the country. Today, Lagos would not allow us to choose an EMEA. Lagos has to come to the center of Kanu to put their own EMEA. Kwakwaso also added that the Tinubu government is plotting to ensure that taxes collected nationwide are used for the development of Lagos state only. So, he continued by saying that today we are aware that the Lagos young men are working so hard to impose taxes and take away our taxes from Kanu and this part of the country to Lagos. Today, as we have seen, even the telephones that we make or register here in Kano, efforts are there to take all the taxes to Lagos. Even our sons and daughters who have bought factories, many of them here in Kano and northern Nigeria and even banks, somehow they are forced to take their headquarters to Lagos because taxes will now have to go to Lagos. The former Kano governor also spoke on the disparity between the rich and the poor saying, we have seen the effort of some people to make the poor poorer and the rich richer and I believe this is more dangerous. Kwakwaso therefore called on lawmakers from the northern part of the country to make sure that the region is not cheated in any way. According to his words, he said, At this moment, I would like to call all our National Assembly members to keep their eyes open so that they don't do anything that will cheat the people of northern Nigeria. We are witnesses to what happened during the first term, 1999-2000, to where our members of the National Assembly were bribed we are treated into collecting huge sum of money to support offshore in this country. That law put a huge blow into our economy, not only here in the northern Nigeria, but all other states, he said. Alright, so moving forward, the deputy spokesman for the House of Representatives, Philip Agbesi, has said that some state governors are threatening to deny federal lawmakers return tickets in 2027 if they don't withdraw their support for President Bolatinibu tax reform bills. Recall that in September, the president had submitted four tax reform bills to the National Assembly for consideration following the recommendation of the Ayedele led tax reform committee. The bills, which include the Nigeria Tax Bill 2024, which is expected to provide the fiscal framework for taxation in the country, and the Tax Administration Bill, which will provide a clear and concise legal framework for all taxes in the country and reduce disputes. Others are the Nigeria Revenue Service Establishment B, which will repair the Federal Inland Revenue Service Act and establish the Nigeria Revenue Service and the Joint Revenue Board Establishment B, which will create a tax tribunal and a tax ombudsman. So, the 36 state governors have, however, allegedly demanded the withdrawal of the executive bills, citing the need for more consultation and public inputs. Agbesi, while speaking in an interview with Punch, 
disclosed that the lawmakers will today Monday engage the chairman of the Presidential Committee on Fiscal and Tax Reform, Taiwo Ayedele, and other renowned tax experts on the biz. So, speaking further, he said that some governors are holding meetings ahead of the National Assembly resolution to consider the tax biz and other important legislations. So, according to his words, he said, some of these governors are threatening members from their states. They have even gone far to threaten that they will deny members return ticket in 2027 if they support the bees. Alright, so the threat notwithstanding, the Benway lawmaker said nothing would make him and his colleague change course, provided the bees are targeted at Vavampi the economy. So he continued by saying, as far as we are concerned in the eyes of representatives, Nobody can stop us from supporting President Bola Tinibu B to reboot the economy to work for the country. We are united across party lines to make sure the country works. This is the disposition of Speaker Tajuddin Abbas. So, while noting that lawmakers in the past could indeed be cajoled to give up their principles, the legislator reminded the governors that the 10th Assembly congressmen are a different breed of Nigerians. So, according to his words, he said, the difference between the new group of politicians in the eyes of representatives is that we are intellectually sound, progressively minded and pro-Nigeria. We were not elected by the governors but our constituents, so as far as the legislation be we work for those that elected us, we will support them unequivocally, wholeheartedly and powerfully to see the light of the day, he said. So my people, that is it. I saw this news and I decided to share it with you guys so please let me know your opinion in the comment section and please help us to like and share this video so that YouTube and Facebook can recommend it to more people. Thank you so much for your time and God bless you. Amen.